How many shuffles does it take to fully randomize a deck of playing cards? It depends on what kind of shuffle we're talking about. Usually when people talk about shuffling cards, they're referring to the riffle shuffle, which is where you take two roughly equal parts of the deck, like so, and you bring them together like this. With a bit of math, we can determine it'll take about seven riffle shuffles to fully randomize a deck of cards that starts in new deck order. A paper written by Brad Mann at Harvard University's Department of Mathematics explains why. It's a bit complex, but basically a riffle shuffle isn't totally randomizing the deck on its own because a lot of the cards will end up in a predictable position. For example, the top card, whatever it may be before you shuffle, is likely to still be the top card or in those top few cards when you're done shuffling. Although one shuffle will not totally randomize the deck, additional shuffles will add more randomness as it increases the likeliness that any card will be in any given position. Your top card may be a nine of clubs, but after a few shuffles it might be going down and down and down, and eventually the math says that it could be anywhere in the deck at seven shuffles, meaning it is truly random. Of course, there are more ways than one to shuffle a deck of cards. If you prefer something like the overhand shuffle, Be ready for a workout because it's going to take about 2,500 shuffles to get to that same level of randomness as the riffle shuffle gets to in 7. There's another shuffle that's a favorite of magicians out there called the perfect shuffle. You take two equal piles of 26 cards and alternate them perfectly interlacing the two piles together, hence the name. If the original top card stays on top, it's called an out shuffle. If it goes to the second position, it's called an in shuffle. And although the perfect shuffle sounds like it might be a more optimal way of shuffling a deck than a riffle, it's actually not. An out shuffle will actually return the deck to its original order after just 8 uses, and an in shuffle will do the same after 52. With all that said, if you riffle shuffle 7 times, you will have a very high degree of randomness. But that's actually quite an understatement, as there are more ways to arrange a deck than there are atoms on Earth. After you riffle shuffle 7 times, all of those arrangements are about equally as likely. If you enjoy content like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more.